Okay, so to round the, uh, or to make the booby eyes, first things first, you take the peel like that and you cut it roughly in half. I think that's roughly half. Okay, then we need to take the, uh, the edge off it. So just roll it in your fingers, just cutting the edge away. And when you've gone all the way around, turn it around this way and just round that off. Okay, now turn it around and do the same thing. Find it much, much easier to. Um, round the booby eye first before tying it in rather than try and do it afterwards. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to tie the black snake booby. Um, we're using the competition heavyweight size 10 and as per all snakes first thing that we have to do is attach the braid so we attach the braid to the rear hook with a knotless knot so just hold the braid on top of the hook shank and then wind it around ten times uh, once you've completed that stick the tag end of the braid back through the eye and then pull it tight Once you've pulled it tight, just a little drop of super glue, and that just secures it. Now you'll notice when um, this is going to be a black snake, but I'm using white braid. Um, reason for that is you will struggle to find black braid on the market. So the best thing to do is just to tie the fly, and then any visible um, braid we can just colour it in with a black marker at the end. Okay. So let's just make this braid a bit more of a manageable length and then attach the thread. Okay. Let's remove the tag end. Okay. And you'll see I've stopped the thread roughly halfway between hook barb and hook point. Okay, so now we take the zonker. Um, you want to try and tie the zonker in as close to the end of the leather as possible. So just try and clear a um, a bare piece of the uh, of the leather of the zonker, and then tie it in. A few secure turns and then we'll take the thread on up the body. Okay, now wind the thread back up the body. And then when we're about there, again, we'll just try and um, clear a piece of the zonka, or the, the hair away from the leather and then we'll tie this in. Okay. Just to help you just if you wet the um, the fur on the zonker slightly, it'll just make it behave a bit better. Okay. A few secure turns. Fold everything back. And then we can just whip finish. then just to secure everything just invert the hook and then just super glue that body okay 
So uh, now we um, start tying the uh, the front hook of this fly. So first things first, attach your thread. And remove the tag end there. Okay. Just cut that away. Okay. So because this is a booby snake, first things first, we attach the braid to this fly. So. If you push the um, the braid back down through the eye of the hook, <coughs> you'll also notice I've already coloured this braid. Um, I just used a black pen just to make it black so it matches the fly. Um, so two loose turns, and then we can um, measure how long we want the fly to be. I want this fly to be seven centimetres. So when you're measuring that, it's seven centimetres from the front of the uh, front hook's eye to the rear of the bend on the rear hook. Um, okay, so let's just make this seven. Slide it along. There we go, that's seven centimetres. Okay, so just bind this down nice and tight. Fold this back. So you've folded that braid backwards and then just wind it forwards. Wrap it around the thread a couple of times and just bind it down. A little touch of super glue and then that's not going to go anywhere at all. Okay. Right, now we'll attach the booby eyes to this fly. <coughs> So when I attach booby eyes, I like to uh, attach it to the thread first. So you need to get it pretty much exactly in half. Then you make two turns around the booby eye. Okay, and then you just pull it tight. And you've got two little perfect booby eyes. You can just roll it up the thread and then wind it on. And just attach it with figure of eight turns. Okay. So now it's time to attach the zonka. So the trick with this is you pull the braid at full tension and then you have the zonka just kind of resting on top so that would be the perfect length just fold this here back and tie it down okay that would be perfect well, I'll just remove the um, Take the end of the zonka and just neaten that up a little bit. Okay. Now um, we just had some flashing, and on this fly, it's some fluorescent yellow or some fluorescent green um, flash of it. Just three strands on each side. So I tie it on on the side facing me first. Just catch it in with a few turns. And then I fold it over to the other side. And just catch it in over there. Now we need to cut the flash of um, It's always best if you can, don't cut it exactly the same length. Cut them all slightly different lengths, it just looks a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And then just to finish this fly off, we use some black crystal hackle. You could leave the fly just like that, but the black crystal hackle just sort of hides all the thread wraps. So tie that in on top of that.
um, I just use my super glue just add a drop of glue to the thread wraps there and then we just wind this crystal hack on couple of turns just wrap it around the thread <laughs> remove the waste end of the crystal hackle and then we can just whip finish just add a little touch of glue to the thread And that is effectively the fly finished. Um, when you're tying this for yourself, if you want to, you can leave the front hook um, or the front hook bend on the fly. It will tangle a little bit more, or you can cut it off. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for this fly. Then it tangles a lot less. Um, so I'm just going to cut the bend of the hook off. Okay. So we're just going to remove the rear of the bend of this hook, or of the front hook, with a pair of pliers. Um, just make sure you hold the um, hook bend itself when you cut it off, otherwise it's going to ping everywhere. There we go. Okay. So that's the finished snake.